In this video I'll show how to add water reflection effect with realistic waves and ripples. This is the photo I'll be working with. And this is the final effect. First, open the photograph in Photoshop. Unlock the background layer by clicking the lock sign in the layers panel. Duplicate the layer by dragging it to the create new layer icon and give it a different name, say, reflection, for identification. Now convert the duplicate layer to smart object from the layers panel menu. From the image menu drop down bring up the canvas window and set the height to 200% and anchors facing downward. This will add more space for the reflection effect. Now with the reflection layer selected, select free transform from the edit menu or hold command or control button and hit T in keyboard. Hold and drag the top middle handle till the bottom of the canvas. Drag the reflection layer below the original layer. Add motion blur to the reflection from the filter menu, blur and motion blur. Set angle to 90 degree and distance to 20 pixels. Add solid color by clicking the create new fill or adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Set the value to number 286 EB9 which gives a light blue color. Drag the solid fill to the bottom of all layers. Select the gradient tool which is behind the paint bucket tool in the tools bar. Select black-white from the different gradients in the options bar. Make the smart filters layer selected and draw a gradient from the bottom to the middle of the document. Now hold the control or command button and click on the solid sub-layer which makes a selection over a part of the solid layer. I'm deleting the mask created in the previous steps and creating a new layer mask by hitting add layer mask icon. Here is the image so far. Double click on the mask to bring the properties panel and decrease the density to around 50 to 60 pixels. Select both the reflection and solid layers by holding the shift key and convert to smart object from the panels menu. Only two layers are seen in the layers panel. From the select menu select all. And from the edit menu select copy. Then from the file menu create a new document. As we copied the entire document, Photoshop now creates a new document with the same size. In the new document, from the filters menu add noise.
set the amount to 400%, Gaussian and monochromatic checkboxes on. Then select Blur, Gaussian Blur and set radius to 2 pixels. Now move to Channels panel and select Red. From the Filters menu, select Emboss from Stylize. Set the angle to 90 degree, height 1 pixels and amount 500%. Now select green in channels and again emboss from filters menu. Angle to 180 degree, height 1 pixel, amount 500%. Now reveal all channels by selecting RGB. Return to layers panel and zoom out the document. From the edit menu select perspective inside transform. Drag one of the bottom side handle outside the canvas as shown. Select all from select menu and crop from the image menu. Then deselect from the select menu or simply hold control or command and hit D in keyboard. From the edit menu select free transform and drag the top middle handle to the center of the document and hit the tick icon in the options bar. Go up to the file menu and save it as displacementmap.psd.
Now shift to our main document and from the filters menu select displace from distort. Leave the horizontal scale to 10 and adjust the vertical scale value depending upon the size and appearance of the image and select the displacement map that we created and saved. You may have to adjust several times to obtain a perfect look. Use the free transform tool from the edit menu and scale to adjust the reflection layer so that its appearance coincides with the original image. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.